Hello, I am Marianne Kaverin and I'm going to answer three questions. What does a typical working day look like for you? Uh, I work full time as an editor in a large publishing house in Oslo, Norway. Uh, so a typical working day for me is editing other authors' texts. I myself write during uh, nighttime, uh, in holidays or early mornings. I like to get up really early and then maybe write for an hour or two before I go to work. Two, what is this book about? This book is about Ina, an 11 year old girl who lives with her mother. We meet her right before the summer holiday. And while all the students in her class have amazing plans, Ina knows that they are not going anywhere because her mother can't afford it. On the last day of school, uh, Ina lies to her classmates, telling them that she's going on this wonderful trip to a holiday resort. Uh, and when the holiday starts, Ina is hiding inside the apartment and pretending to be on her amazing holiday. In the class chat room, Ina posts pictures from the resort and beaches that she finds online, telling everybody that she has an amazing time on her holiday. But Wilmer, her new neighbor, discovers that Ina is lying and hiding inside her apartment. He tells her that he spends his days in an abandoned caretaker's apartment and suggests that they make um, this place their own summer holiday resort. This sounds like a stupid idea at first, but after all, it's better to be with Wilmer than staying inside the apartment all summer. Together, Ina and Wilmer make their own paradise and the friendship evolves between the two. But Ina has told so many lies that eventually she is discovered. Three, what would you wish for children who live like the main character of the book? I wish that children never should be ashamed of their family's economic situation and know that it's never the child's responsibility to fix or to better the situation. With the book, I wanted to tell a story about child poverty and what impact living with economic difficulties could have on a child's life. But I didn't want to make the story sad and depressing. I also wanted to write a story about creativity and friendship and making the most of your situation. So my message would be that you as a child never should make excuses or feel ashamed of your family situation and that you always should stand up for yourself and for your friends.